guys, remember when I said that um, these turn signals for e-bikes, with the ones with the speakers in them, were a pain in the butt? They're actually not. Um, I'm actually finding with my new bike that doesn't have a speaker in it now. Uh, it doesn't click. It doesn't even basically make any sound at all. And half the time I, I end up leaving the turn signal on, which has got to be kind of irritating for the driver. So I would like either a beep or a click. And I was just looking at this unit to see what it, how um, how it could be modified. Obviously, I got to replace it, the piezo because I I broke it. But um, uh, the way it's wired up in here, it's on the back side of the FET on the one leg, and then the other leg is going around to the pin on the right side pin. And I don't see any other chip here that would drive it to beep. Um, you got the FET that just basically just switches it on and off. And this little IC in the corner here, that uh, is basically the, the switch that uh, turns that um, the uh, FET off and on. Uh, a couple of resistors and a Zener diode. So I honestly do not see any driver there that would make it beep, uh, unless it's buried in the, in the FET. But I doubt that. Um, I'm guessing what's likely there's likely some kind of driver or chip on the bottom side of the piezo. And uh, it's basically potted in there. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to remove it. And then we'll... Um, I have a few different ones here we can try out. I can un un uh, unsolder one of these. Or maybe even this little computer speaker here. See if that'll work. But, I don't know. I think it's built right in there. Let's take the back, take it off and see if there's anything potted on the other side. Warm everything up here. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was irritating at first, but now that I've, I've get on the road, and it's like you got to keep your uh, eyes occupied on the road. I'm worried about uh, if your turn signal is on or off, and you can't hear them, obviously. So, it's got to jam my. Uh, need a better solder sucker, something that's uh, a little bit more modern. Anyway, let's uh, get that off. Let's see if we can't uh, get it to work again. Or I would like to have a click, but I would be happy with some. I would, in a way, I would like just you know, so it's like I know it's running. That way, I don't have to take my uh, my eyes off the road to see if this turn signal's on or off. It's actually kind of irritating. And the other leg is over here. I'm also going to show you how you can test one of these without putting it in the bike. All you need is a 12 volt source. And that's it. Well, I mean, um, you need a load, which I'm using an LED or a 12 volt lamp. There's a lot of goop on this. Okay, let's see if we got that. Anything. Oh, give me a break. It's like double gooped here. Just give me a minute. It's going to take a bit. Yeah, they had solder that was bridging this pin to the back side of the, um, the FET. And then it was covering another pin. Well, obviously it was covering the solder blob that was... Uh, had that soldered onto it. But uh, I... Do not see anything in there that would indicate that there was any kind of um, chip or anything in there. By the time you 
by the time you look at the depth of the metal plate on the bottom there, it's pretty much at the bottom. So I'm guessing that's not it. Um, what we could try is quickly soldering on a lead, um, this lead onto it, and see if this will work as a speaker. There, now that I have a lead on it, I can basically just run that out the tip of the box and uh, but solder whatever I want to it to modify it. But uh, at least we don't have to be touching electronics now. I'll, uh, I'm going to show you how to test it really quick. Um, if you have a bench power supply, I basically got going here. I got a LED lamp and off the lamp, off the negative, we go to the negative on the lamp, positive out, and then you would go to the positive on the power supply, which would be B, which would go here. And then basically it's just the positive that runs through the, um, the flasher, which I will show you. And this would be 12 volts. See that, and we're just positive and positive. Whoops. Negative to negative and positive to positive, and huh. you said I wanted clicking. That type actually clicks. Interesting. I'm going to try a different type of piezo and see if I can get the click louder. I'd be happy with that. <laughs> yeah, so I guess there is a chip inside that, that uh, piezo that keeps it, uh, that um, makes it beep. I'm going to try and dig it out and see what it is. I replaced it. Different type. This is the one off the old uh, uh, voltmeter. Let's see if uh, this one clicks or beeps. Which is probably just going to click. So I'm guessing the, like I said, the circuit actually is inside the piezo. So just clicks, which isn't a bad thing, but it would have to be way louder than that for me to um, get anything out of it. So. Let's try different uh, different devices. Like we can try. Let's try. Actually, let's check the voltage off the leads and um, see what we got here. Then we'll uh, have better indication of what we could run off of it. To tell you the truth. Uh, let's get the voltmeter here. My guess is probably just cycling on and off at 12 volts. But uh, that's what we're gonna find out. Just give me a minute to set up. Yeah, my leads are a little short, so. <laughs> Go. Quick test here, and we get. Yeah, it's cycling too fast for my my uh, meter even to pick it up. I'm guessing it's probably 12 volts. Hard to say. It's worth a try. Um, hmm. You could try a relay on it. See if that'll work. It'll click nice and loud. Just quickly solder that on. Yeah, it might not be able to solder it on it quickly. Of course not. Give me a minute. Okay, this is with the relay. So we'll drive a relay. So you pretty much could you could make something that um, that would uh, click very loudly. Obviously, this is not designed to click loudly, but if I was to modify it, I could get it to click pretty loud. Hmm. 
I think I'll be making my own custom module. Um, I'll do a part two of this video. I'm going to make something that clicks really loud. Um, you know, that's the way it should be, right? Later, guys.